Mr. Portlocket. Yes. Mr. Portlocket, come in here. Yes, sir. What? What is it, sir? Did anyone see you? Mm, no, sir. Mm, yeah, excellent, excellent. Well, now listen. Yeah. So, rumor has it, and with rumors I mean, ah, uh, rather certain intel from high command, is that the Jerrys are launching an offensive as we speak. They're crawling, uh, nay, uh, swarming out of the, the trenches like agitated ants. And if we're in really bad luck, they will be pushing against the French side of the line, which means we have mere minutes before the whole thing folds like a folding chair. So, in a rather genius move, High Command has suggested that, and they are no doubt inspired by uh, the great successes that we had uh, last night bombing the uh, train station. Indeed, sir. They are launching, yes, 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 they are launching a bombing attack on the attack. What say you to that? That's a rather dastardly plan, I'd say, sir. Absolute genius. Genius? Genius? It's absolute genius, is what I said. Don't put words into my mouth, Mr. Potlock. Of course not, sir. Yeah, so, I thought, well, the Germans, the Jerrys, the Hun, they may be brutes, they may be barbarians, Mr. Potlock, but they are no fools. And they will be sending up planes to try and stop this attack upon their attack. Uh, attack the attackers of their attack, so to speak. So I thought, and I suggested as much to High Command. And after last uh, last mission, we certainly have their ear. That we go up, uh, <clears throat> you, me, and uh, <coughs> Gerald, uh, and uh, attack the planes that are about to attack the attack on their attack. That sir uh, is genius, sir. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, Mister Potlucket. Thank you, thank you. Um, but, two things to keep in mind. We have to do this very quickly. Let's go. Yeah, would you hand me those boots over there? My fa Yes, my favorite boots. All right. The, the goggles here, sir, as well, sir. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Wouldn't want to forget those for the world. Yes, and then, uh, let's hurry over to the, to the, to the fields. Here you go, sir. See you on the field, sir. Uh, thank you, thank you. Don't be late. Yeah, the mixture and the radiators. Get those kites into the air as soon as you can. Uh, before, uh... Contact. Yes, yes, and uh, full tilt, because here it comes, here comes Geralt running. <laughs> so long, sucker! I'm leading this flight, you bastard! Full tilt, Mr. Potlocket! Airborn, sir. Yes, capital. Oh, look at him. I have never seen him so angry. <laughs> My only regret, Mr. Potlocket, is that it'll be another 30 minutes before he discovers that I've removed the spark plugs from his uh, engine. Ooh. And by then we shall be too far away to see even the massive explosion of rage. Clever, sir. Very clever. Yes, I'll teach him to try to steal my command from right under my nose. Right, here, let's consult the flight plan which seems to have been drawn by a madman high as a kite. 40,000 waypoints over here. Circle. No, I think we shall make do without any of that. Uh, set a heading to the south-south-east, Mr. Potter Lockett. South-south-east, sir. That's actually kind of the direction we were going, to begin with. Uh, say hello. Hello, sir. Now, I wonder where the flight of bombers is. There's no use us attacking their attack, meant to attack the, uh, the attack on their attack, if they don't actually attack the attack that we sent to attack them, so to speak. 
Are you with me? Oh, I am, sir. I am. Maybe they are attacking the attack that is attacking their attack. Attacking our attack, sir. That would be most unwise of them. Maybe to lose, sir. It could be, it could be. A rather lengthy patrol mission. I can tell instantly that Geralt drew this. Oh, well, I am pretty sure it did, sir. Considering the amount of flak we're receiving, sir. Indeed. I'm actually starting to believe that there was actually no attacking flight at all, sir. But, but how... How could they possibly omit to attack the attack that were attacking their attack? Well, you see, sir. Gerald, sir. He... But, but... He invented this attack on the attack of the attack. But he was scheduled to fly uh, along here with us. Or was he, sir? Maybe My he knew of God. your... Your ambition, sir. The craven bastard! Oh, the man hey, is man. lucky I don't have any bombs strapped to my kite, or I would have, would have gone right back there, and I would have... Uh, Court martialed him with twenty pounds for the face. Sir, I don't think they are happy with us flying over their factory, sir. No, it rather seems that they are uh, a wee bit upset. Oh, nearly caught that one there. Right in the gizzard. Don't worry, we are at a safe altitude of, uh, ten. Oh. Ten Frenchmen, sir? No, ten Brits. No. That's a rather tall, handsome height, then, sir. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Potlocket. I had a good, uh, four meals a day. Um, I lost sight of you, sir. Off to your left. Oh. Well... We are scheduled here, yeah, if I read this right, to go, I'm not mistaken, all the way north to Bois de Valou. Precisely the point which we so gallantly bombed the crap out of the other day. That is correct, sir. Fascinating. It shall be most educational to see the effect our bombs had. And such a long flight will give us ample of time to think up a whole bunch of terrible atrocities to visit upon Geralt. He doesn't know who he's trifling with. Definitely not, sir. After all, his cousin isn't first High Lord of the Admiralty. First Sea Lord, as it were.
say, sir, do you see any German kites? I do not, Mr. Potlocket. Um, aside from possibly... Ah, uh, off to your right. Yes. Your, uh, two o'clock. They are coming straight for us, sir. Yes, I see them. Well, I sort of see them. Yes, there they are. Looks like two of them. We shall turn to engage, Mr. Potlocket. Tally ho, sir. Tally bally ho, indeed. Right, they're coming for you first. Dazzling flares, beautiful. I'm slotting in. Dive if you have to. Those are in Sell the your armor trust, sir. I dealt with them, sir. Beautiful. Well, that's that, then. A fantastic maneuver. Indeed. I shall have you recommended for a medal. I have learned from the best, sir. Indeed you have, indeed you have. The dazzling flare blinded them for that cunning attack, sir. It is a beautiful tactic. Very gentlemanly, too. Well, two of the Kaiser's best gone, and all we have to do is fire up a few dazzling flares. Huzzah, I say. Huzzah. Huzzah, sir. Alright, we shall turn to a northerly heading. Enough of this eastbound nonsense. Now, shall we try a coordinated landing? Are you sure, sir? Uh, no. Well then, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for you. Come, come down, sir. But I think this is a rather good approach. Yes, you've set it up very well, Mr. Potlocket. Do you wish to lead? Well, why not, sir? I think you've done an excellent show of yourself today, Mr. Potlocket. That medal shall be forthcoming. Why, well, thank you, sir. Right. Right, so call out your throttle settings, I suppose. Well, it's... Or your airspeed. My airspeed is around 90, going down to 85, sir. Understood. Putting some extra fuel in her. Yes, going with 80 until that tree line. There's no wind socks or anything, right? There is a wind sock, but I think we should be coming in with the wind at our back, if it hasn't changed notably since last time. It doesn't look like there's much of a wind, sir. Good. Right, setting it down. And the flare. I parked her rather hard, sir. Don't worry, I shall still get you that medal. Why, thank you, sir. I think that's still a net gain, would you say? Indeed. Two cherry airframes totaled at the cost of uh, 
slight cosmetic damage to the nurse. And up, ah, here comes Geralt. Keep him busy while we shut our engines down. Dance, you bastard! All right, Mr. Potlocket. I shall see you in about 40 minutes. Thank you, sir. I need a bath.